like there was in the 1850s when there was a 1600 foot breach and it was 16 feet deep. We don't envisage that happening. Uh, if it did, a breach of that type, then obviously we would have to completely reassess our long term involvement there. Conservationists, though, are adamant the land and its inhabitants will see it through. They say Spurn Point will move westwards and will remain intact until the sands of time run out. Tina Gelder reporting from a windswept Spurn Point as conservationists abandon their attempts to stop it eroding naturally. Krista. Well, coming up in a moment, advice on what to do. ...be abandoned. Every year, the strip of land that characterises the east coast moves westwards, battered relentlessly by the North Sea. But now, like King Canute, scientists are ready to accept that they can't hold back the tide, and erosion is to be allowed to take its course. Here's our Humberside reporter, Phil Connell. Geologists have described Spurn Point as the oddest place in Britain. Its position on the map has been changing since records first began. For the last 100 years, though, nature's progress has been blocked by man. Sea defences have protected the land and for years stopped it from moving west. But man's intervention has proved to be ineffective. Now, to ensure its survival, conservation groups have today unveiled plans to let Mother Nature once again take its course. It's going to change and alter. You can look at old maps, you can see different shapes on it. It's, it's really unusual. It's, makes Spurn a very special place to have somewhere that's shifting the whole time. You look at a map this year, come back in five years' time, you'll need a new map. There's nowhere else like it. Left to its own devices, Spurn will move westwards at a rate of two metres a year. By the end of the century, the peninsula will have seen a significant shift. For the wildlife and migrating birds which flock here every year, it's thought disruption will be minimal. But Spurn is a working peninsula too, with a single road leading to the lifeboat station and the Humber Pilots base. A road which will now have to move as the sand begins to shift. If what they say is correct and that the point's moving westwards, then we hopefully will be able to move the road westward at the same time. And that's probably the most cost-effective uh, um, remedy that we can have. Today at Spurn Point, meanwhile, a disused pub became the new coastal visitor centre. Plaques on the wall illustrate graphically the moving story of this coastal oddity, whose future shape now lies in the hands of the North Sea.